So, um, I'm allergic to 32 things, um, and I think that allergies are becoming more and more prevalent these days. Um, when I first found out that I had allergies, I got tested for it, and you have to get, I got 28 shots on my back, and if they swell up, it means you're allergic to them, and I was allergic to all 28 things. And then about five years later, they came, they, come, they came out with more things that I could be allergic to, so I went back in for a second test, and I got 32 shots on my back, and I was allergic to all 32 of them. So um, it's just kind of weird because some of, some of my allergies are more life-threatening, some of them aren't. But it's just kind of weird because I think that more a lot of people know CPR, the Heimlich, and that kind of thing, but a lot of people have allergies, and a lot of people go into anaphylactic shock, and they have an allergic reaction. So I want to teach you how to do it. So how to save um, save someone if they go into anaphylactic shock is by using something called an EpiPen. Um, it's a per, it's prescribed it's something that's prescribed um, and it's basically just an injection of epinephrine, which helps to regain um, normal blood pressure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Um, and so, in order how to use this, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to use the tester one because I don't want to actually shoot myself. But this is what. Um, <laughs> This is what they look like, um, and you always know that the needle is wherever the orange um, area is. So basically, basically you just remove the um, orange cap, so I'm just going to remove that. And then you want to um, insert it into like the fattest part of your thigh, so I'll just do like the inner thigh. So you're going to firmly push until you hear a click, and then um, you hold it in um, for about 10 seconds to release the full dose, and then you can... Um, Release it, and then you just need to massage the area around the injection just to make sure the full dose is released. 